Welcome back to another RuneLight tutorial. And in today's RuneLight tutorial, we'll be showing you my RuneLight plugins. This is your official RuneLight setting plugin. I will be showing you how you can change it and what I personally use. Let's get started. Subscribe to save this data. So first of all, you'll want to load up your plugins and then just type in RuneLight on the search bar. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and just favorite this so it appears at the top of our list or near the top of our list. So now we'll go into the edit plugin configuration on our RuneLight. Uh, we'll just go ahead and reset this to a default and it should change a decent amount. And as you guys can see, we are in like a weird box mode now. This is because it has now changed it to the default client size. To fix this, all you have got to do is just go through these settings and our window size is 765 by 503. I normally use 1530. So if we just go ahead and type in 1530 and I use this on a 24 inch monitor. Could go 1920 by 1080p if you already wanted to, but for me, I use 1530 by 1006. I use this so then I've always got the right hand side of my screen, which is like a, a couple of inches where I can just put other things like Discord and stuff like that. And it still looks perfectly fine on the video. And then obviously with the resize type, I keep that as keep game size. The lock window, we do not have that ticked contain in screen we have that to never remember client position i have that ticked that way when you turn the client off and you load it back up it will default back to this so you so it will just pick up from where you left off and you don't have to go back in and just like put it on the right screen and everything like that next is enable custom window chrome we've got that unticked window opacity we leave that on 100 because the more and more you turn this down, the less and less you actually see and it like fades out. So you don't want that. Uh, always on top, you can tick this if you're playing other games and you're just playing RuneScape on the side. That way you don't have to tab out of your other games. But for me personally, I don't use that. So I leave that unticked. Exit warning. I have that on when it says logged in. Show display name in the title. I have that ticked as well, but all that does is it just changes your rune light name and if you untick it, it just doesn't display your name. Uh, sidebar toggle key, I leave that as control F11. The same with plugin toggle key, I leave that as control F12. And that is it for the window settings. So now if we scroll down to our notification settings, I think a lot of these will be kept pretty much the same. We put enable tray icon, we put this on yes. Enable tray notifications, I have this unticked. Request focus, I have that on off. Notification sound, I have that on native. A notification timeout is after one is after 10,000 milliseconds. Game message notification, I have that unticked. Flash, I do not have that on. Send notification when focused, we have this unticked. And notification flash is this like this ready color, but we don't have it on, so it doesn't really matter. So now we have our overlay. So for our overlay, we have dynamic overlay font. We keep that to small. Tooltip font, we keep that to small as well. Interface font, we keep that on regular. Info box font, that is also regular. Tooltip position is under cursor. Info box size, I leave this on 35. A lot of these, like I said, are default and you can just mess about with them yourself. Overlay color, we've kept that default. Outline info text box, we have that on ticked. Block extra mouse buttons, we've Got that on ticked as well. Use actively traded price, which you can either turn this off or on. It just tells you in the grand exchange if it's what, what it last traded for, I'm pretty sure. So I keep that on ticked anyway, just so it's a lot easier to buy and sell things on the GE. It tells you what they're buying for and usually what they're actually selling for as a more accurate price. And drag hotkey, we've got this on alt. And I'm pretty sure that is everything to cover in this thing. There is other RuneLight settings or RuneLight -like plugins I'm going to be covering in the future. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. And if you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Comment on the video as well. What other RuneLight -like, uh, settings or other RuneLight -like plugins you'd like me to cover in the future. And let me know some feedback as well. I've been Ben. Hope you guys have all enjoyed nevertheless. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. So see you later. Goodbye. If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.